Environmental migration, like all types of migration, is a gendered process. So each migrant's vulnerabilities, priorities and contributions are influenced by their gender. Sex and gender disaggregation are often used as synonyms, but they are not, and this has important consequences. Sex disaggregation refers to biological sex, and it is what we find, for instance, in uh, national identity documents, and we often see male, female, and usually a third uh, designation such as O, T or X. For instance, if we enter a country, uh, we often see those on immigration forms. Uh, gender refers to a person's gender identity, so it requires migrants to self-identify. And this is very important for migration, environment and climate change because a lot of work that has been done in this space is done through household surveys, for instance. And so gender is something that respondents should indicate. We need to also go beyond disaggregation and make sure that the gender perspective is integrated at all stages of migration data work from the design of data collection um, methodologies all the way to data analysis and publication of data.